Hello and welcome back to another video from Ellensburg Amplifier Repair and Service. My name is Todd and we're going to uh, cover this power supply section of this DB Drive 7.5K that I had uh, briefly covered in the live stream. And as I said, I was going to make a video of the uh, power supply and the output section uh, the best I can here. I do kind of have a time deadline on this, so I will do my best to capture what I can on video for you guys. Uh, but what I wanted to go over today was the drive circuit um, of the board. So when these outputs failed, it surprisingly did not damage any of the uh drive transistors but just as uh, reliability standards that I do here is I just replace them because uh, you just don't know how hot they've been you don't know at what point uh, they're gonna have a high failure rate so I'm just gonna replace them all so what I'd like to point out here is the transistors itself so when they're soldered in from the factory they're soldered in with about a quarter inch of the uh, legs to the board and for anyone that does a lot of repair you'll know when these things go up in smoke it'll actually it'll burn those traces right out of the board you'll carbonize the whole area of the uh, drive circuit luckily that did not happen here but what I like to do to help prevent uh, any future uh, carbonizing issues of the board is I raise the transistors up off the board um, you can kind of see it here and let me grab a let me grab a uh, 3228 here and kind of give you an idea so uh, the transistor what I do is I mount it about halfway up on the leg and that serves two purposes one is it keeps the heat up off away from the board when this does fail again in the future if it does and two is it allows you to fan the transistors apart. Um, these aren't soldered in place yet, so I really it's kind of hard to ex, you know demonstrate how I'm going to fan these out. But once you get them soldered in place, you can bend the transistors away from each other uh, so they don't heat each other up. So it allows air to get in between them, keep them cooler. And again, it just helps uh, prevent future failures. Uh, heat is the number one killer of a transistor. You can look on any data sheet uh, and it will give you uh, current ratings based on temperatures. Uh, so you just you just can't slap a 100 amp transistor in and think you're gonna get 100 amps out of it in, in the middle of summer in a hot trunk covered in a blanket or a towel. Uh, you're gonna cut, you, you might as well just cut that power in half. And that's the that's the one of the biggest things that I see. Uh, I don't know if I'd call it a misconception, but it was one of the biggest things I see in this repair industry is people are not grasping that the current decreases with increased temperature. So you always got to be thinking: How is this amplifier going to be ran? How's it going to be driven? Where is it going to be driven? Is it a competition amp? Is it a daily driving amp? Uh, how do you communicate this with your customers when you return it to, again, give it a proper airflow and not cover the board up? And of course, uh, on second to that is vibration damage. Um, don't mount into boxes. So uh, that was just what I wanted to cover is how I handle the power supply pre-drivers here. Up off the board, fan them out, allow cooling in the drivers. To help prevent failures of the drivers because if you lose a driver you're gonna lose the transistor on the output that's just uh, that's just the name of the game on these you lose a drive you're gonna lose a transistor and I had let's see here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven I had eleven source uh, vias that carbonized on this board so we had 11 uh, individual vias plus i had the big section here that you can still see on the camera 
that I am it's almost done I got the uh, the copper trace is ready to go back down and get soldered back into place the the board that I'm working with is nice and solid um, and so that's pretty much where I'm at on this I'm hoping to have the power supply done today I got to pull all the output transistors and uh, replace the the uh, the IR two one eight four four on the uh, output drive card. I just do that. I just replace them all. I don't even mess around. Just replace them. So because there is a bank of failed output transistors. So that's where I'm out on this. Uh, please stay tuned, and I'll be back with more for the output section. Again, the power supply section is good to go. It had a good clean solid square wave on the drive so i just need to put it back together uh, i do have the new wire ready to go in for the negative power supply section here that where the wire got burnt in half that i had to cut out so otherwise uh, the power supply is almost done uh thanks for watching if you have any comments please leave them down below and like subscribe if you like this content i will always be out with more thanks you for watching